waka 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 what is cracking? Found my exit. Back here with another video. Welcome, welcome. I hope you've been well, taking care of yourself and ripping into some packs of your own. In the video today, we'll be ripping some Italian packs. I am overseas traveling, as I'm sure you're all aware. There were some gaps in the film schedule, so I thought I'd try and film some videos to, you know, fill in the gaps. So we'll We'll roll on some footage of the Italian shops here and some cards that I found. Um, very expensive compared to what I was used to, but we'll roll on that footage and then I'll show you what I picked up. Okay, so plenty of stock as you would have seen, but really expensive stock. So I did try to grab two different tins um, and I have opened this one to check the pack selection inside because I thought there might've been evolving skies. But as you can see, there are um, 2022 was the date on the back of these, both of these tins, right? So I thought, why not pick them up and see if we can get lucky and find some older packs inside of these ones. I think we've got some cool sword and shield packs inside of there. And I think this might have some good lost origin inside, but we will find out they are Italian tins, so Italian packs inside, as I am in Italy right now, um, hence the little Italian Pac-Man apple from where I am located right now. Hopefully that did the job for the entry. So these will be our main event for the video today. And then I've got something funny that we saw, which is a knockoff. As you can see by that gold card, is a knockoff Pokemon tin, completely not in Pokemon product. Um, that yeah has a gold card at the front so i bought this as a bit of fun from you know some dodgy markets and then the two official tins so we'll warm up with the fake pokemon tin and then we'll get into the real pokemon tins Okay, so I do not know what to expect inside this fake tin. I've never bought fake Pokemon products before, so it's a bit different, a bit funny, but let's have a little look and see what there is out there in the market. I have seen gold cards before. This gold card in the front feels very, very fake, but it is an Ultra Charizard GX. Look at that. Look at that beautiful fake gold card that's quite funny. Um, yeah, very shiny, very thin, not as... Um, not as thick as I expected, but there's a whole bunch of other goodies inside this tin that we will have a look at. Let's see if my makeshift mantle will last. Um, kind of off camera there, so we'll try and bring it forward, but it is just a champagne bottle cork uh, that I am using there. Okay, so you got, they give you a little, you know, like protector. If we pull anything good out of the other tins, this will come in handy. Um, we'll definitely put the big hit in that because I don't actually have any sleeves with me. But look, we've got a bunch of stuff in here and you got some plastic and something underneath the plastic. We'll have a look at all of it, right? Okay, a little booklet that came underneath the plastic. I don't know what this is. Okay, so it's like a, a play uh, mat type situation. Okay, I'll not be able to fit that on camera, but just by looking at it, it looks non-Pokemon branded play mat type of scenario. Um, so we'll leave that over to the side. And then we have two completely non-branded what look like booster packs and then a bunch of loose cards held together by an elastic band. That again, these are all proxies, not real, but let's roll through this and see what funny, funny things we may be able to see on top of that really weird looking Ultra Charizard GX. And again, apologies for the lighting sound, any of those details. I'm literally using um, a kitchen pot as the stand for the camera right now. So it's a little bit shaky, but we'll do our best as we roll through. Okay, so we have, I believe, and I could be completely wrong. I think I'm going to be wrong with the set, but I thought this was Chilling Rain, um, but I don't think so. Okay, then we got the Melanie. These are like straight cardboard. You can see on the sides how fake they are, but look, we'll roll through it, have a bit of fun with this. Okay, we've got a bit of a repeat there. Lucario V. I'm not going to waste too much time on it. I'm not the biggest fan of fake cards. I literally bought these just for the laugh. Um, another fake card there. We've got a Vulpix. All right, nothing special there. We'll get through this and get to the main event real stuff, but some cool trainer gallery knockoffs. They feel like complete, just straight cardboard, like someone's cut up a um, 
packet of, a, a cereal box and put them together. But um, again, thank you everyone for your patience and the love and support that we continue to receive on the channel. I'll show you a view, if I haven't cut to it already, later of where I am right now in the mountains in Northern Italy. Um, beautiful, beautiful place. And I've been traveling around, as mentioned, a little bit for work and a little bit um, for family uh, reasons. And I do have family over here, which means I have been visiting them whilst I'm over this side of the world. Okay, so we do have the two booster packs see what we get inside this if it's something special outside of those loose reprint, reprint cardboard cards that i feel like someone could have done with you know a, a nice home printer you probably could have sorted that out if you have a cardboard printer um, these booster packs are definitely not easy to open let me see if i can i don't know why i'm being so sensitive and trying not to damage the cards inside considering their knockoffs um, but yeah again whilst i rip into this pack just, yeah, thank you everyone for bearing with me whilst I am traveling um, and all the love and support comments saying, just take the time, don't do anything. But I do really want to stick to the schedule and keep the videos coming out. We've got an upside down card there, another upside down card there, nothing special inside that pack. We'll pop that over to the side. We'll get into our second booster pack of this warm up fake proxy tin that we do have. Oh, looks like we've got something gold in the back here. We've got something gold in the back here to go with our Ultra Charizard. Okay, we've got Milo into an ups. Oh, look at that. we got an Ultra Pikachu GX to go with our Ultra Charizard. That's just banger, banger. These are funny, funny cards. They're so thin. They're like, um, yeah, really thin. Anyway, there's a little bit of proxy fun before we head into the real cards. We'll just pop them off to the side back in that tin and I can give them to one of my cousins or whomever that live over here and they can play with those and have a bit of fun. All right, and this can be for if we pull a Giratina out of the Italian Lost Origin that I hope that we have in one of those tins. So what we will start with is this tin here, which is a Typhlosion V tin. I think that they had the three options that you're kind of seeing up the top there from a tin perspective, some lovely Italian language on the side here, but these are um, the Italian, you know, TCG, cards so some you'll see in english some you'll see in different languages for anyone collecting maybe that still works there's the code card <clears throat> and we'll look at our packs inside so we do have astral radiance the italian version um another astral radiance then we have fusion strike nice and then we have darkness ablaze okay so we'll go let's go darkness into um, astral into fusion for this tin and then the other tin i'm not sure what packs come inside but i am hopeful that we might have some lost origin inside there we'll leave our wine cork mantle just off to the side um, and again apologies if the footage is not so great but look we're ripping into a real tcg pack here darkness ablaze italian style there's our code card for anyone that may be collecting that Chucked it off the side and it landed back on the table. So Sword and Shield era. There's plenty of Sword and Shield stock around, which is cool, but prices, as I mentioned, were quite um, quite dear. You know, these tins, I think you would have seen it in the video, but if you didn't, they were like 30 euro, just under 30 euro each, which is, you know, pretty expensive when you're only getting four booster packs. Um, yeah, but even, even the modern stuff, like the new Scarlet and Violet era packs were just as expensive. So I obviously opted to find the tins with the oldest date on it and use those um, for the video. So Astral Radiance, see if we can pull an Italian Machamp. And when you're Italian and you're a Machamp and you have all those arms, you're definitely doing a lot of, you know, hand talking with all those arms. Can you imagine six hands and a match amp and speak in Italian? That's gonna be an interesting mix there. So we do have the fighting energy. Is that a sign for what may be ahead in this pack? With the Ponyta, as you will see, a lot of the names are the same as in English and then there are some that are different to um, the Italian variants. As we do have a V hit there with the Heatron V. Um, again, same name, we'll keep that in shot, we'll put our hits here. Does that deserve the mantle? It is just a V, a regular V. Look, if it doesn't want to sit up, we're not going to put it in there. Okay, well, nah, we'll lay it down. Let's forget the mantle. Okay, second pack of Astral Radiance, the Italian style version. Let's see, second shot at that Machamp. 
<clears throat> and as mentioned, I hope everyone's been well, having a good week, getting through the week. I am in transit probably when this film, uh, this video drops uh, to a new location, no longer going to be in Italy. So we'll see what will happen whilst I am there. But I do apologize in this coming week. There may be some gaps in the film schedule. But look, we'll be back to regular, um, regular schedule soon not too far before I am back on home soil in Australia. Um, so yeah, that will be not so long away. Now we have the Colpo Fusion. Okay, so the Italian Fusion Strike. Let's get it going. See if we can get lucky with something from Fusion Strike. Definitely plenty of big hitters in here. And as I mentioned, um, all of the hits from these packs, I do have uh, plenty of Italian cousins and, you know, people who will enjoy these more than myself. So I'll probably be giving all of the hits and cards from these packs to the family before I bounce out of Italy, which will be tomorrow for me. And we have another no hitter. So just the one V hit from all of those packs. And of course the um, promo with the Typhlosion there, but look, they'll be stoked with that. They don't care. They like all of the cards, regardless of quality of the hits. So we'll leave them to the side and we'll get into our next tin, which I haven't broken through the plastic, but it is a Rotom tin. I think they are like the, the Rotom, Gallade, or Giratina tins. I do believe that these were um, with Lost Origin, a Lost Origin release. Now, bust into that plastic and find out what we can find inside. All right, we are in. We've got our promo that I'll try and, yep, as I, as I suspected, you guys can see there what we're peeking into. Got some Lost Origin here. We're gonna chase that Italian Giratina. So we have that Rotom V that will add to the pile of V hits that we have already. Let's see what we have inside this tin. We'll leave that Giratina just off the back there in shot. Okay, so we have Lost Origin, Lost Origin, and then two Astral Radiance. So let's flip it, start with the Astral, and then finish with the Lost Origin. I'm glad my voice has come back. I did lose it um, earlier in the trip when I was traveling, just, you know, uh, flying, traveling around. I do have my family with me. So two little ones, traveling a 30 hour transit with two little ones is very interesting. Um, look, we extended the time that we were here to make sure that we didn't do that flight too close together um, on the way back because yeah, 30 hours on a plane with two kids uh, of very young age is difficult, but we made it as we do have a hollow there in our first pack. Um, but yeah, they're definitely better than they could have been. I'll tell you that much for free. All right, moving into our next pack of Astral Radiance Italian style. Let's see if we can get something out of this second tin of better value than that Heatron V. code card. I'll try and get a video up um, in the next location that I'm going to or next country that I'm going to and buy some local packs from there. But I'll see, I'll try and do something of similar style so that at least we have some content going up over the next week um, until I am back, as I mentioned, in Australia. So look, there was another no hitter pack. These tins have been a little bit underwhelming so far, but we have Lost Origin here that could turn it all around with a big alt art of a Giratina variety or even an Aerodactyl alt art. Would take either, right? It's not too much to ask for, asking for the two top hits, is it? But look, we will, we will push on. All right. First pack of Lost Origin as we've got Trying to notice how many of the names are different in language. Um, and it's not as many as I thought would be changed as we do have the non hollow rare there with the Electros, which I believe is the same name in English. All right, last pack of Lost Origin or Origena Perduta. Excuse my Italian, it is not the best, but we try. All right, last pack, see if we can get some last pack magic from our Italian packs here before we 
round out the video today. And again, thank you all for joining me. Please do smash that like button and subscribe if you're not. We do have that 5K celebration mystery box so kindly and generously given to us from Silver Summit with many giveaways inside that box for the community, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Um, and our vintage set of the month is still base set. So go ahead, throw your guests in the comment for base set. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and there are members giveaways and subscriber giveaways for when we open that big box included. Plus I'll throw more in there because Silver Summit is just such a legend. All right, we do have something in our last pack and it is the Aerodactyl V-Star or in Italian as they call it, V-Astro. That's pretty cool. Beautiful. All right, well, the best hit of the opening to round us out there. Thank you all for watching. Please do go ahead and smash that like button as mentioned, and we'll catch you in that next video. Waka 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 waka